Okay, let's do some questions to see if any of this stuff actually makes some sense. Starting with questions seven and eight are based on the following. Uh, seven says, what amount of taxable gain must Jody report on the result of this distribution? Well, we know if it's property, no gain. If it's cash, there might be. What is Jody's basis in the distributed property? All right. The adjusted basis of Jody's partnership interest was $50,000 immediately before Jody received a current distribution of $20,000 cash and property with an adjusted basis to the partnership of $40,000 and a fair value of $35,000. Hmm? All right. So let's see what's going on. They're going to distribute this asset. Uh, it says current distribution. Current means what? Non-liquidating. So it's non-liquidating. We have an outside basis and we'll see what that is. So you need to figure out what's inside, what's outside. We also need to figure out what we're getting. And remember, what goes first? Cash first, then property. All right. The adjusted base of Jody's partnership interest was $50,000 immediately before she received a current distribution. Current distribution tells you non-liquidating of $20,000 cash and property with an adjusted basis to the partnership. So Jody's basis was $50,000. That is her outside basis. Okay. Then she receives cash, cash first. She gets cash of $20,000. That brings her basis down to $30,000. Then she gets property. The property has what? has a fair market value of 35 and it has a basis to the partnership of 40. So this is called your inside. Do we ever look at fair value? No, it's there to ruin your career. So bye bye bye. Now we got property. What is the rule? Non-liquidating property, you pick it up at the lower of inside or outside. Lower. What if it's liquidating? Always pick it up for what? Outside. So in this case, what's lower, 30 or 40? Well, you can figure it out this way. If I put 40, I'd have a gain. You can't have a gain on property. So I've got to pick it up for 30. My basis is zero. So the question is, what's, their, uh, what's the gain on the result? No gain. What is the gain on the property? No gain. What is their basis in the, uh, what is the taxable gain? Zero. What is Jody's basis in the distributed property? 30. So when she moves forward and sells it and gets 35, she'll have a gain at that time. So the gain's kind of uh, suspended until she actually finishes the transaction and sells it. Um, basis in the cash is 20 because cash is cash. Basis in the property is 30. Boom. Gain or loss in the property? No. Gain or loss in the cash? No. Basis in the company is zero. Number nine. Under which of the following circumstances is a partnership that is not an electing large partnership considered terminated for tax purposes. 55% of the assets in the partnership capital and profits are sold within 12 months. Yeah, 50% or more, yes. The partnership's business and financial operations are discontinued. Yes, yes, both of those. All right, in a minute, let's do a task-based simulation.